Thank you for clicking on this video and today what I'm going to share with you is not a square but the package provider or the meaning of provider. This video is just to explain to you as simple as possible what is provider and how to use it. And also a little bonus that I'm going to share at the end of this video. So what is provider? Really what it is provider? In my own definition, provider is like fishing. Fishing? Yes, fishing. So here we have a simple provider statement that you get a user object. However, do you know what this whole statement is all about? Well, how about these images? Can you figure out which images represent which part of the provider statement? If you have guessed it, the fish is the final variable, the reference from the user provider. The fisherman is the provider method or the provider dot of user. And lastly, the context refers to a river. So how is all of this connected to each other? Well, imagine you're a fisherman in the middle of the river and the river here represents the context. And in the context or river, there is different types of fishes or data. There is theme data, there is user data, and there is a boolean is online data. However, you want to specifically find a user data. Therefore, you need to catch the user data by having to use this static method provider.ofT. So what does this T represent? So the T stands for type. Since you are looking for a user data, the type will be a user and once you have the provider method connected to the context you manage to catch the user data however this rod of yours is interesting instead of retrieving or catching the user data for yourself you duplicate it the user data using a variable and you catch it on your boat or variable so then how do you create a provider in the first place? Well, this is kind of a wrong question. The right question is, how do we create a way that data can be passed? This is where we create the provider. The provider will wrap around a child widget with the data or model you want to pass down, like this little fishy. For this example, you want to pass down the user data and the child widget will be my app widget. So let's have an example of an Instagram clone app that we have over here. In the app, we have two basic widgets, the my app and the home widget. However, we are not able to get the current username as we don't have the user data. Fret not, the provider is here. So we will just put our user data in the provider. Now let's zoom out a bit and see it in an eagle view of this. Wow, <laughs> the widget tree is like a river system. The user data is at the top, the provider, right? And then the my app widget is in the middle and the home page is at the bottom. The river acts as a stream to flow down any data from the top. With the user data, it will flow down the river or the river context, which will make the my app has the reference of the user data. And then the data or the fish will just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming till it reaches to the home widget. That means the user data can be called in both my app widget and the home widget since it's connected to the context. Let's see in terms of code. In this typical app you will create, you will have a provider as a separate widget. Then you will have a material app in my app widget over here. This will then connect the home widget through the routes parameters and a simple home widget that gets the user data using the provider. So let's see how it all flows out. The user data will then be created first, as you can see in this little fishy. Then it will flow to the my app widget, 
which will then flow through the context of the My App widget. Then the data or the user data will flow through the route context, which connects to the home widget. And this home widget is connected through the context. And finally, you can get the reference of the user data from the context using the provider by referencing it to a final variable called user. With that, the user data will be parsed into the home widget and the current username which may relate to this fish is, you guessed it, Sam Martin. <laughs> So another question you might ask is, can other widgets listen to the same data? The answer is yes. So let's take an earlier example and add the settings page. All right, so let's put on the Eagle View goggles and it should look something like this. You could see that the context has now forked into two streams. One is home and the other one is settings. With that, the data will swim and just keep swimming through the context and then it will hit a fork. This is where the fish will multiply and now the home and settings page are able to get the user data. This will be very similar to what we have earlier on. So we have a provider widget, my app widget, but now we have a settings route that is connected to a settings widget. And our settings widget over here has the same provider context that refers to the user object. So now once we have created the user object, it will then go through the my app, through the context, and now it will multiply into two of the contexts, which goes through the two widgets home and settings and then it will just go through the context of both widgets and both of the widgets are able to refer or have a reference of the user objects through the context using the provider now i have a challenge for you from this example can i get the user data from my app widget so let's see now we have three widgets but now the first top widget will be my app widget and this has a provider widget which is now our material app widget and inside here you could see that we have our provider widget inside our routes parameters over here and this is where we create our user object which will be passed inside this home widget so do you think we can get the user data from my app widget over here as you can see do you think this will be all right or does it have an error well the answer is it will have an error this is because context only flows downwards not upwards well in summary we have learned what provider is, which is a way for you to get a specific data from the sea of contacts. Then we learned how to use it to create at the topmost widget and share it to one or multiple widgets. And lastly, we learned that contacts only flows down, not up, due to gravity. Just kidding. That's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below on what I should go to next in the provider package. Don't forget to subscribe, stay safe, and all the best. Bye-bye.